Hi, it's Face Attack. Remember a couple of weeks ago I had the uh, screen switching uh, DS mod that you could switch the screens with a flick of a switch. Well, I thought that's it. No, it's all said and done. It's a cool mod. Um, but then I was looking around uh, and I mentioned I'd uh, started doing some um, DS Lite um, macro faceplates in the kind of similar style that I'd done the um, DS Fat ones, the uh, Game Boy XL ones, um, and I made one, uh, uploaded the files, and then someone uh, mentioned that they had um, printed it out, and then they just happened to mention that they had, they had the DS Lite with the screen, uh, DS Lite that you could s screen switch with a button, and I was like, I was quite embarrassed to the fact that I didn't actually know this mod existed, um, but then he pointed me to a video um, by uh, by Mako Mako probably butchering that, M-A-K-H-O, um, which basically, well, as far as I can tell, this is how I uh, kind of worked it out, was it's a byproduct of the DS Lite uh, video out uh, mod. You kind of do the flash, flash of the firmware, but you don't actually do any of the um, other mod to it, other than at the button. Because what it does, this is this is just me, the, the way I can see it is that with the screen, screen switching uh, the um, video out mod um, you can press uh, the three buttons there's one for to swap the screens whichever one is um, video into the video out mode because it only um, outputs the top screen to the thing so it switches the screens and then there's another button that does the picture in picture and then there's another button that does like a contrast where you can um, have both screens kind of like um, overlaid on top of each other so what we're using here is basically one switch to switch the screens to the, um, for, the, for the video out mod, but we've got no other screen connected. So what it basically does is has the video out. So I'll give you a quick demo. If you, you even, because it was funny because as of when I first seen about the video out mod, you had to, as far as I was aware, you had to um, flash um, the firmware which is like um, the Flash Me firmware, but modified. And then you had to run uh, on an R4 card, you had to run in um, Twilight Menu++, you had to run a piece of software, and then you had to run the game. But now I think it's got a lot more updated, and basically um, with this version of the mod, I can run anything and screen, screen switch at all. As you can see, I screen switched in the, dem in the uh, intro to the DS. Um, so if you go into the games, I was quite happy to find out that, like with this one, the touchscreen still works no matter what screen is switched. So that if the top screen is switched to the bottom screen, you can still uh, tap the screen. So if I go, I can show you with this one, which is what I showed last time. So as you can see, that's the bottom screen, and then we'll switch to the top screen. And I'll show you go to this level. And then, as you can see, if you screen switch, there's no item here. But I'll go over to I'll get because I've got uh, mushroom. I've got a uh, flower power, so I'll go into that. And then what I'll do is I'll just tap roughly in the area, and there you go. Which is quite cool. I quite like that. Um, I show you on a board that I've got here. All you have to do is there's three different areas and um, you have to solder to some vias down here. There is, I'll put um, a link in my blog, there's um, an original image of where the t solder points are and you have to solder uh, one side of this button to, to one of these vias and the other side to ground it anywhere on the board. I found that this capacitor uh, C12, I think it was the top side, uh, is also ground so if you want to keep it in the same ballpark area but you could also solder on anywhere else really. Um, but the the weird thing is that um, the whole DS ROM actually firmware lives on the uh, flash the um, Wi-Fi chip, and I think people are actually selling these separately. So if you're not really um, comfortable with, because it does take there's a few bits of um, flash in the basically you do a flash me ROM where the stealth whatever the version eight is. I'll put a link uh, in my blog post. To the exact one because it's quite hard to get a hold of you flash that and then you have to dump the whole firmware patch the firmware but it's the patch the firmware 
in the same way that you do an ISP uh, mod on a ROM and then you re-flash that with some other piece of software and then that's it really. It's quite it's quite simple and easy to do but it's just trying to get all these obscure uh, different uh, firmware like you know, flash me uh, mods because no one really uses the flash me mod anymore because originally it was originally because I've been playing around with DS's from right from the beginning it was a way that you could use the pass through um, cards and also to stop people bricking your DS's which you know I don't know actually know if it ever really happened but it was just kind of like one of them um, one of the precautions that people took um, so yeah I'll show you on a just a standard this is a standard commercial game just to show you that it does work on absolutely everything As you can see, this is an unmodified game, just a standard game, Splinter Cell. There you go. I did, well, what I done with this was I put basically double stick taped the um, switch to here because there's a bit of a bit of a nice flat area, and it's quite close to where you'd want to uh, run the wires. And then I just had modified one of my um, macro lenses, and just had it's basically like a cut out, so it just flexes. And it just presses the button, so it's kind of like, um, and then also, which means that everything is on the just the I put the speaker on the back of the uh, board down here, it's a double stick there, a double stick switch on there, so everything is on the actual um, board, so you can just put it into the case, and it's quite an easy, quite a nice, easy mod to do. Um, I'll also show you the, the it works on the GBA, which is you know kind of pointless because you know we just set the screen to oops. You set the screen to whatever you want it to be, and it plays on that screen. But for whatever reason, just to show, oh, oh crap, wait. So that terrible game in there. As you can see, for whatever reason you'd want to do this, I don't know. But you know, just demonstrating that it actually works. So yeah, as usual, um, there'd be uh, a bit of a guide. There's also links to the original guides. I'm not, I'm not trying to uh, rip, rip this. Um, say that I've just covered this myself and just trying to put it all into one space and get it give it a good um get it a bit of time in the sun you know get people out there get people knowing about this mod because I think it's an absolute amazing mod and it's great if you got if you're going to do a macro build I would highly recommend you do this because it just makes it a million times better I know a lot of people do like the fat one and it's got the nice switch uh switch mod as well so I'm getting a bit of a collection here of weird and wonderful modded consoles but yeah as usual thanks for watching happy hacking